Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as always, Renamisu here, and we are back with episode 9. That's right, I know the number, episode 9 of Attack the B-Team Modded Minecraft Let's Play Thingamadoodle. I have done a lot. I have the book. Since last time, a lot. I have kind of finished the meat farms. I have finished the storage system. XP, 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 XP. And elevators. Oh. And biofuel. And biofuel. So, I have found more essence berry bushes. We now have nine. So we get quite a lot, and it's a good time. Yeah. And it takes two stacks of 64 and a stack of 60 to get to level... Um, to get to level... Oh no, what did I just do? One, two, three, four. Three stacks of 64. Two stacks of 64 and a stack of 60 to get to level 30. Give or take one or two. Also, storage system finished. I know I have the meat farm there first, but the storage system comes first. So, um, I mean, it still looks the same, I think. I have... I mean, yeah, all looks the same, pretty much. Um, here you can head down. I think the only difference is that now these are all hooked up. So let's plop down. We can fly up here. So yeah, these all have the item broadcaster chips and the item responders. Obviously, none of these are really even close to full. This is as far as we've gotten. And since then, I've did I did a little bit of cleaning up. Um, with like the, the micro blocks and broken pieces of armor and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Next up, we have the animal farms. Set up here. So, I have six of cows, pigs, and sheep. Just went around with the safari net. And this is programmed to work. I just have it turned off because these cooked meat ingots give five food. So, I don't need a lot. I really don't so I, I have 12 here so I was getting way too much too fast pretty much and I don't know if I can do anything with I mean, eat blocks that doesn't look like I can do anything with that oh wait and turn it into flesh oh that's just the ore dictionary can't do anything else yeah so I really can't do anything with these guys unless there's make a cooked meat block but, uh, huh, I wonder how much that gives. Let's find out. Next time I get a little hungry. Okay, anyways, but as you can see, I definitely don't need, maybe if this was supplying food for, you know, like 20 people on the server, then I'd have it on at all times, but I really don't. So I'm going to do something else with these uh, extra... Um, four cells. I think I am going to stick chickens in here just to have the the quintet, the quartet, core, quad, core. Yeah, quadtet. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, you can see in here, there's these sewage things, and well, excuse me, I just yawned. Wow. Um, I guess I should show you the biofuel area so this is going to be a biofuel area and I only have these two set up this one can't work because of the ceiling but uh, now they're working diligently so what this is if you remember the rubber tree farm it's kind of the same thing you have a planter underneath let's see here it is and this is such a mess I don't know how I'm going to overcome this so anyways we have a planter and the main issue with this farm is that the way I have it set up is it is it won't start actually producing fuel until we break this point of having this entire thing full of seeds. Right? So, I mean, can I do something like... Oh, I guess I can do something like that. But I don't know if it will plant the obsidian. So I might have to look into that. So, anyways, I'll take a stack of seeds. Hmm. <clears throat> So it plants it, 
this guy fertilizes is, fertilizes it, it will be moved over here because of the way I'll do the piping. Um, fertilizer takes a specific kind of fertilizer, which the sewer things are for. So let's go take a look at those. Um, so we have these hooked up. Sewage goes down. Oh, God. Oh, God. I do not have a sword. Save me. Um, they get piped down into these composter. You can see it. There's no energy going to it right now, but it takes one or it takes a thousand mill buckets, I think, and then converts that into a. Uh, let's go ahead and head over here and converts that into fertilizer in which it will head over here. So these those other cells, I might just throw random animals and just to get more sewage because once I have all of these, we'll need a lot more sewage. Um, I guess I'll just kill him with my pick. Or let's see. Uh, it doesn't say. Maybe this guy does more damage. I know it does more damage to, uh... I got a panda hat. So this alone feeds two. So converting one of these guys, which gives five, into nine of these, which gives two. It's a ridiculous amount of food. So, yeah, that these got even more overpowered anyways so it feeds a fertilizer goes up blah, 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 into the fertilizer um, and then it just picks one of these guys at random and then the harvester harvests it up and it blah, 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 blah. And it first goes through the the planter, so that's why it's filling up first. Um, I wanted it to have stock, extra stuff, and then everything else would go f further. And then the extra stuff gets thrown into here. I'll eventually probably have a like hopper here, uh, extracting it out into the. Um, as far as the wheat, it'll go into the breeders, um, and that kind of stuff. And then from there, it will go you know all the way over to the storage system. Um, and this guy's set up the same way, a little bit more crazy because of the fact that it's two of them, so, um, yeah, and then this guy's, this guy would work if, um, the trees would grow. Oh, and he's not getting power because I was trying to save power. And that's where we're kind of at. Um, because we're waiting for this to all kick off, we don't have a real source of power. So, in this episode, we'll be finding some extra energy. And before that, I'm going to get rid of all these yawns and maybe have something to drink. Because I'm parched. So, I will be right back for you guys. And then we will get working on getting a better energy system. I'm still going to have this right here kind of set up like this. I'll get rid of these um, and then it'll probably be uh, like energy cells here and then conduit on the two sides going out to a bunch of machines that we might need access to more frequently and on a less automatic uh, level. So yeah, we'll, we'll maybe work on this and then the other thing we're going to be doing is uh, mob essence stuff, which I will get to later. Um, I know it was kind of like, this has been kind of like another recap thing, but I have not had a chance to actually record in a long time. So yeah, anyways, I'll be right back with you guys and yeah. Okay. Well, I think I found the drawback of the nuggets. They don't give a lot of saturation. It seems like, cause yeah, I'm eating a lot more often than when I just eat these, the ingots. So and I guess that makes more sense because you're eating an entire ingot of meat other than just a nugget. So I'm sure it gives the same saturation level eating all of these as eating uh, one ingot. So, okay. So mob essence. What do we, oh no, no, we're not doing mob essence. We're doing uh, the extra energy. So we're going to be making a steam turbine because those are overpowered. Um, steam so it's pretty simple some plastic sheets a steam dynamo some pistons a machine frame i need that 
um, silver ingots, and a redstone transmission coil. Do I have machine? Mich frame? Ah, I don't. Crap. So I got to make one of these. Uh, so that's just some iron, some gold, and some glass. Iron. Four. Gold. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Let's get all the ingots. Gold and glass, which we need four of that. Four. Submit. And there we go. Gotta wait for the rest of it. My bad. I thought I had everything set for once, but of course I didn't. So let's combine all this. Do -do. Yeah, I have enough. And clicky, clicky, clicky. And clicky, clicky. Steam turbine. So I got my steam turbine. I have my Oculus accumulator. And that's all I need for right now. So we'll set this up next to the stuff over here. Because this is the stuff I need to be powering. Um, uh, I think I'm just going to set this up. Oh, crap. Let me find some dirt. Look, dirt. I'm going to set this up in the cell behind us. Or behind it. And then just use some... That's not what I was thinking would be here. Forgot about that. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I do aqueous accumulator like that? Uh, let me just take off this stuff. It's not being used anyways, so. Let's see. And might as well take out the planner too. There. And do, do, not, not that. Come on, come on, dirt. Um, so while I'm doing this, I apologize for not putting out videos recently. It is the last crap. Let me do. Uh, it is the last few weeks of the quarter, so I've been. Whoa. So yeah, that guy has a little bit. Of that oh no! 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 This should be replanted, though. Oh, the planter might not have energy. So, never mind. Um, oh, no. There it went. There's no flowing water around here. <laughs> there is no flowing water around here. Does this look like flowing water? Is this flowing water? Oh my god. There's no water. There's none! Okay. Uh, what the fuck is that mod called? Can I just do config? Okay. Okay. These are items. Sounds. Smooth rain. Uh, tornado wind waves vector tree what the fuck local That's false. how do I change that Oh man, that is so annoying. I hate not having sound, but I guess I'm playing without the sound. Wow. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so let's try this again. Um, we'll put some water down, some more water down, infinite spring, and then we will fill this guy up, surrounded by some water. Some water. Oops, didn't need to go there. 
Okay. Wata. And then we will throw our steam turbine on top of it. And there it goes. It's uh, stationary tropics water. And there we go. Free, free energy. Now, let's see. Does this output... And can we put it right into this guy? Once we turn that one on to receiving. Okay, now let's see. The main question is, is it going to go down once this is... Uh, okay, so it is, it is feeding, but it is infinite and free energy. So that means all of my machines that are hooked up will eventually work. So I, yeah, all of it's working. Let's hook this guy back up completely and that guy can stay unhooked. So everything should be good now. Full energy, full energy. This guy is freaking crazy so he might not have any. Okay, he's fine. Uh, full energy and full energy and this guy's actually taking in stuff that is not okay with me oh, I don't even know how that happens let's get rid of that guy and let's go check out this guy over here Ah, uh, yeah, so you can see this is working and there's enough sewage um, being produced that it's not even like messing with it. And you can see there's the little turd and it will float on over here and we'll, oh, there, there they are. And he'll just, he'll make their little turdy ways up and over here, turd and the harvest will, will harvest. Let's see if it's having its issues. Okay. For some reason, um, maybe it's been hot fixed or something, but this guy was not outputting into this chest. It was really weird. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw the blackness in the, in the back. I thought it was sludge. So I was all like, no. Okay. As you can see, we got plenty of wheat. So if I find a villager that has a wheat trade, if there is a villager with a wheat trade. Okay. So let's turn my sound back on because we're pretty much done with that for right now. Um. Yeah, this has way less saturation. Okay, so let's head back over here. Let me throw some of the extra stuff we have sitting around. Uh, this was supposed to... i just throw them in there for now. Uh, I'm throwing stuff. Oh no, I need that comparator. God damn it. Come. It's not in the system yet. Uh, let's see, take that, take that. Did I throw anything else I needed into there? Take the planner, don't need that. Okay, comparator. So what we need now is a way to get mob essence, because I'm going to be making mob farms um, to spawn mobs so I can get their drops and that kind of stuff. Now the issue with mob farms, I'm going to be using the Mine Factory Reloaded stuff at Mine Factory. I'm going to be using the Auto Spawner, this guy right here. Um, quite easy to make, but it uses a lot of energy. And that's why we're trying to get this all going. And it requires mob essence to spawn the mobs. So it's not supposed to be a net plus of uh, XP or anything like that. You're supposed to have to put in your own XP. Um, it takes like 1.2 mobs worth of XP to spawn that said mob. So if a mob costs, gives you 10 XP or whatever, it's going to cost 12. Um, and so what we need is a way to get extra mob essence, right? as well as other drops and that will cut down on the amount of these auto spawners that I need um, so what we're going to be using or doing is we're going to be teleporting spawners and you know it's a pretty roundabout way for this mod pack but you now what do you do 
So, oh, I came down here. So what we need are these block teleporters. Now I believe we need two of them um, to work. So let's go ahead and make another one. It's not too difficult. So you need an ender pearl. Well, you need a couple ender pearls. Um, some diamond and some redstone. Oh, I always do this backwards. There we go. To make a focused ender pearl. And you put that in with a comparator on top. And then obsidian surrounding the bottom. So there we go. Brock, Brock Tower Porter. So let's test this out. So here we are. And you also need a target card, which is a bit harder to make. Uh, target card. Um, which is four ender pearls. That's the only hard part. Paper and some purple dye. So let's click on this guy. Put this in. Always active. And then... Let's see. Is that how it's supposed to work? Let's see. Right click the card. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have a block sitting around? Let's get a bit of cobble. Cobble. Let's uh, make it like five. Take a drink of water. Water is much better for you than anything else, guys. Don't sit on a computer and drink pop all day like I used to. And then I believe if I place a block right there or right there. Where's my pick? God, how do you use these goddamn things? And that spider trying to get in. Bastard. Whoa. Whoa. Not cool. Not cool. What the hell? Come back. Baby, come back. Oh, man. What the fuck just happened? Uh, I'm scared to, like, try it again to see if that was just a... Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that was... Yeah, stupid glitchy ass things. Okay, well, I'm going to figure out how to use these things. I thought I did. I don't. And we're getting kind of close to the end of the episode, so I really want to do this before uh, we do anything else. Yeah. Okay, so I could not find any videos really on these guys, but there is another block that apparently should work. Um, this is called the Block Mover. And I think you just right-click. I have a block. Right-click. I have a block. Okay, there is a durability, so you can only move it, uh, looks like you can only technically move uh, 50 blocks, or a block 50 times, so that, I, that's, that's, you know, I'm okay with that, um, 50 blocks, that's plenty for what I need to do, and where do I need to go for this, actually, I'm not, I don't remember 100% where it's at, um, there was a cave somewhere around here. Maybe it was over here. Yes, yes, yes. No, not that way. I think I lit it up. There is a spawner of sorts somewhere nearby. So now I just need to find it. Um, do, do, was it up this way? Yep, right here. Spider spawner. So not too good. I also figured out what these guys are for, and they're actually pretty cool. Um, do they stack? I don't remember. I would guess not. Yeah. What these do is instead of taking lethal damage, um, it gives you a bunch of potion effects and that kind of thing. So. Oh no, you can't use it on these. Oh man. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was middle clicking again. Nope, you can't use it on them. Um, well, that seems like it kind of sucks. Okay, so I guess I will have to figure out how to use these guys, so, one second. Alright, I figured it out. Um, I was kind of on the right track, kind of. Um, you gotta keep this guy here, and you've got to... Ah, fuck. Um, you've got to link it up with the other dude. So, I need to go find the other guy, which is up this way. Down... Uh, not that way. Down. Over there. 
right. So left, up, left through this little hole. And there he is. So I need to take this, because that is not that is from the first time I placed it. Okay, let's see if I can remember. Okay, it's past this pool. This will be a little bit faster than traversing the cave. Let's go, let's go. Um, but we're almost to the point. I think within the next two episodes, we'll finally actually get to start on the, the real park. Once I get XP, I'll be able to start doing some of the other stuff. Okay, so I need to shift right click. So if we look at the coordinates, it's 246.57. Right click. And 222.50. So that's different. And I think it'll still be a little bit quicker to go this way. Don't get angry at me. Just because I know pretty much exactly where I'm heading. Except I went out the wrong door. God, I hate that they stole my dirt and mushrooms. Those bastards. Um, so a little bit farther. Okay, it was in this pool. Okay, this is wither, wither liquid. I think that's what it's called. Let's look what it. Sludge. Uh, sludge is not good. It gives you wither. Okay, so now we put this in. There it went. There it went. It went. It went. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so we got the target card. And now, I don't know why I'm traversing backwards, because it's always harder to go backwards. Uh, down this way. Because it's not quite as familiar. And to the left. And I don't have my torch layout like I usually do. Not up that way. Maybe it is up that way. Maybe it's up this way. Oh, man. Oh man, I am all sorts of lost now. I should have just gone up the stupid hole. Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna end up outside. This way we go. Oh well. Um, and I'm gonna start working on building some little small witch huts and other shows during, in between episodes when I can. So, oh, where am I going? I'm all like expecting my hole to be there. Let's head this way. And it's here! Yay! Yay! So, if I were to cover up these holes, I, I think it would spawn some spiders. Is it F7? Let's cover up this hole. Really? Still too much light? Much direct to, uh,. I don't have light in there, do I? Oh, yep. Spawned right away. So, yeah. Really awesome. Um, but you can see that there's some liquid XP. So in the next episode, we'll start hooking up some systems to work with these guys. And then from there, we will be able to spawn mobs. And then from there, we'll be able to continue our experiments. Let's see how this is doing. This is doing good. This is maxed power. Nearly. Wow. Um, why is this not fertilizing? It's not working. Oh, there it went. This is max power. How's this? Let's, uh, let's look at the seeds and stuff. Get in there, get in there. Um, let's look in here, get in there, good, good. How's this doing? This is still a little slow, that's because it's not hooked up with any fertilizer or anything. Um, but we are probably over time, and you know, most of my episodes are over time, but deal with it. Um, yeah, in the next episode we will work on getting the mob area set up, and it will be lickety split amazing times. So, until then, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and all that kind of good shit. And I'll see you later.